Hello students, so today we are going to learn about rate of reaction and previously we already learned until um, the factor that influence rate of reaction we already learned the experiment for um, them I also forgot already this one is what this one is the size of the solid particle and we already learned in terms of the what is this concentration because we can see that um, here is high concentration 0 0.2 which is high 0 0.0 or 4 is actually low and let's look at the following notes okay so we already learned the rate of reaction and one of the that we didn't do experiment is affect the rate of reaction is pressure um, the higher the pressure, the greater the rate of reaction. Have you, have you ever seen pressure cooker? Let me show you pressure cooker. So for here, we can see there are two cook, cooker. This one is a normal cooker that you can buy. And this also is a normal cooker you can buy. But obviously, which one is faster? On my left or on my right? So basically, this one will be faster. Right or not? Because this one, you can close and you can see, I don't know why it's this lah, to control the pressure to close it and because you close it but the gas cannot come out and you put fire, it will be like a lot of gas inside unless the thing will spoil, the thing will explode up, boom then the thing, your shielding will have the round round thing or the food fly up but other than that, this is the pressure cooker so of course this one will cook faster a bit because it's high pressure this one will be slower a bit because it is low pressure okay so let's look at this question why is the rate of reaction for solid liquid reactant normally not affected by pressure teacher teacher Billy you say that if high pressure means rate of reaction is faster teacher Billy I want to ask you why if for solid and liquid normally does not affect it because when you're cooking that time, when we're talking about pressure cooker, usually you're talking about um, you can increase the pressure in terms of the air. We're talking about the air. Rather than solid or liquid. Because solid or liquid, it doesn't really make difference. Why? Okay, I need to be very careful in explaining this. Um, in air, the rate of reaction will be faster. Because the molecule of the air is around I can press the air I don't know how to press la, but it, imagine if I can press the air the reaction is faster among the air because I take all the air I press so the the distant molecule and molecule is nearer so the reaction is faster I use all the air and press together the air like a balloon so the reaction inside the gas is faster or up down up down very fast but in a solid it doesn't really make difference is there any solid for example the solid is just it like this no matter how hard i press it's still solid maybe a little bit go in uh, like i press actually got happened it, it, it becomes smaller a bit but only you cannot see because it only small but a little bit little bit baby you cannot see so it doesn't make any difference because the particle is really close apart and even though you compress it, the particle is already very close apart so there's nothing much for you to compress it anyway but so the reaction is almost the same, it's not affected not like air, air can, I still can press it become like a liquid hmm. I don't know how to press the air lah but seriously I don't know, it's just press the air but air is easier to press than solid it's easier to press i can make the molecule closer apart therefore the rate of reaction is faster solid doesn't really affect particle is really very really close apart i cannot increase the decrease the distance between particle then it doesn't really make different uh, except if you really can press lah maybe you bring this one to the black hole and the black hole press this thing then then you get a faster rate of reaction. Okay? Um, hopefully, hopefully you understand. 
um, state five factor which affect the rate of reaction. So the answer of the five factor is the temperature of reactant, pressure of catalyst, concentration of reactant, sub solid reactant, pressure re and the pressure. This one is at page for this book is at page one hundred twenty five for the question. Okay, let's do this question for question two. Complete the following statement. The total the, the, the temperature of reactant, the higher the rate. So the higher the temperature or the lower the temperature. Hmm. So the answer will be the higher the temperature, the faster the rate. Correct or not? High temperature, then you cook faster lah because the reaction is faster. Slow, then you cook slower. The total the, the, the concentration, the higher. So this one, the higher the concentration or the lower the concentration. So again, the answer is higher. Very good. Put your word higher. Okay, so again, the answer is the higher the concentration of reactant, the higher the rate. Correct or not? Last one, the total reactant, the higher the rate. So this one is what? The size, small or big? Very good. The smaller the size of reactant, the higher the rate of reaction. State one factor that only affect the rate of reaction involving reactant in the form of gas. Okay, so let's read the question again. Since now I missed the question. State one factor that only affect the rate of reaction involving reactant in form of gas. So only in gas. What factor? Just now we already do this question. Yeah, so for this one is pressure. Correct or not? Because as I say, pressure means you can press it. And for other things solid, you can't really press it. You also can press this one. Uh, just bring the black hole. Uh. Black hole help me to press until like tiny little little dot until you cannot see. Wow. Can you even imagine that? Uh? Like the earth is so big, but when I bring the black hole, the earth will be compressed until little little dot until you cannot see. Wow. That has always amazed me actually. Okay, so let's do this one. Application of the concept of reaction. Okay, now science. We already learned how are we going to apply in life. So let's see rate of reaction. Uh, for refrigerator, you want to make the reaction fast or slow for refrigerator? Yeah, so my student answer slow. For a refrigerator, we want to make the rate of reaction slow. If fast means the food spoil faster. Okay, because the food spoil also is a rate of reaction. Slower spoil is also a rate of reaction. If totally forever won't spoil, that is called no reaction. You know something that we don't have a reaction? Like gold. Because gold is so valuable and there's totally no reaction. If I can put here 1000 years, the gold is still like a stone. Beautiful like a gold and there's a value in gold. Shining, not easy to get and scarce. Scarce means cannot find everywhere. Um, but plastic, no. Even like these scissors, let's say I put for 1000 years. I think the plastic do not become what? This, this metal also will rust and become the sand. And it is no more because there's reaction for for this thing. But it's a slow reaction. Ah. For this scissors to disappear, I think it will take around 200 years, 100 to 200 years. Just disappear. Every day, rain, sai tai yang. Go ho chiu, xia yu, sai tai yang. Rain, then sunshine. Then it will rust, rust, rust. Then it will become like the sand. And suddenly, this scissors just disappear because it will just rust and break apart. Okay, so yeah, but that's why your soil also got the metal, you know. If you don't believe me, you take a magnet, you take a very big magnet, bigger a bit lah. You go to find the road, you try to like that, like that, like that, and then you see all the sand will go up one because your road also got the metal. You try and do this, take magnet, go outside the road and try to you will find a lot of uh, metal. Not a lot, but a handful, uh, huh? you still can get it. Yeah, so we want to get uh we want to slow down the reaction. How application in life? 
lower down the temperature, correct or not? Because we really learn temperature high, reaction fast, temperature low, reaction slow. So what we can do is we make it lower down the temperature and therefore decrease the rate of reaction like in the refrigerator or to put dead body also the same, right? Even though we don't want the dead body to rot. Example of appliance, we've applied the concept of rate of reaction like this. Coca-Cola. Pang Coca-Cola ta pang kao jai textbook ah. Hmm. Is it Coca-Cola wah? Why like that one ah? Spritzer. Why help the way tajun is it? Okay, so this is a application of daily life. Now we want to look at maybe in a factory. Yeah, catalyst. Now we want to talk about catalyst. Uh, where is the catalyst? Yeah, we can see here is the catalyst. Iron filling is the catalyst. So this is Haber process. So Haber process is a very very, it's a very big process to produce ammonia. So let's see Haber process factory. So this is an example of a factory for Haber process. So Haber process is actually to get ammonia. Ammonia can do many things lah. Either you want to put it in the food product, I don't know lah. Huh? Food product or maybe to make plastic, to make fertilizer, to make poison. I don't know lah. Ammonia is something that you can do with a lot of things. And this is the example of the factory, which is quite big. So what ammonia process is actually, you want to take the nitrogen and hydrogen produce ammonia. For example, you want to make fertilizer for plant. Like a... Pokok. Baja untuk pokok. Tapi bukan organik lah. Baja tu. Baja tidak organik. So, you want to put... You want to make a lot of ammonia. Failure. Because you want to put for the plant. Um, we don't want to use chicken shit, right? Or cow shit. Or goat shit. Because how much shit you can get from the chicken? How much shit you can get from the, the what? Okay, so there is a scarcity of organic fertilizer. I know it's good because it's natural, but you, you cannot get a lot. But with ammonia process, you can get lorry and take the whole fertilizer, which is the ammonia. So what they do is they take hydrogen and jia plus a hydrogen H, you will get NH3, which actually the ammonia do what? Do a lot of things. Mainly maybe to do the fertilizer. How to do this? I like this process, you know. This process is like taking the air to make money. Our air got around 78 percent, I'm not mistaken. Uh, 76 or 78 lah, uh, percent. Yeah, so nitrogen is 78%. So I like this process because it's taking the air to make money, you know. Just take the air, then do 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 do, then come out the thing, money. So basically you are taking the air to make money. So very good. So first you take nitrogen hydrogen, mix it, compress it with 200 atmosphere, means press the air. Press it. Put iron filling and catalyst. As I mentioned, what is catalyst? A substance that speed up the rate of reaction without itself undergoing any permanent changes. Again, let's already tell you uh, the question might ask what is a catalyst? Catalyst is a substance that speed up the rate of reaction without itself undergoing any permanent changes. So iron filling, temperature, put very hot, 450, 450, 450 to 450. Then go to the cooling, become gold, and then become the liquid ammonia. Can do a lot, a lot of things. Then I then will go and produce again. So this is the simple part of Haber process, which Haber process and the chief end of this Haber process is to make ammonia to produce ammonia okay so what you need to memorize in this chapter and what you need to understand i think you need to memorize Haber process 
It's a process of mixing nitrogen and hydrogen gas. The equation you need to know. The ratio, I think it's good for you to know. The temperature you need to know. 450 to 450. Maybe this one will come up in the objective. Correct or not? Ask you A, B, C, D. Calculate the temperature and 200 atmosphere. Sometimes when I was young, I was confused like 200 means what? 450 and 55. This one I think you know like, the temperature. So I don't need to explain about the temperature. 200 atmosphere means you need to press the air 200 times. Now I think now I'm at... So we only have one ATM now. One room temperature in this room. If I near the sea, now it's me less because I go up high means low pressure. Go down means high pressure. That's why you, you go up the mountain, low pressure, cannot breathe. But when from the mountain you go down, you can breathe high pressure. So I would say one atmosphere will be around at the beach because beach is very low man. We're almost to the river to the sea already so low pressure okay so yeah so you need to do 200 atmosphere and 450 to 550 celsius why 450 and 550 though the question won't ask but in science the scientists already do experiment they will start with like for example 100 celsius 200 celsius 300 celsius 400 celsius 500 celsius 600 celsius 700 celsius 800 celsius 900 celsius 1000 celsius and they quantify it to get the uh, to calculate how much amount of ammonia you can produce because if you put too low fire the fire is too small the the product won't be produced you cannot produce the thing if you put the fire too big Maybe the product will spoil. So cannot too small fire, too big. So they do all the experiment is around 450 to 550. That's why this one you need to memorize. 200 or so they already do the testing. Maybe they test 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. After they do all this experiment, they calculate that 200 atmosphere is the, um, the most standard pressure for making ammonia. So this one you need to memorize. Okay. And um, basically it's this one, the process. Yeah, what is the process of Haber? The N chief N. Nitrogen and hydrogen will produce ammonia. Maybe the question asks you to write the formula. So you need to write the formula. So you think very little thing. A lot of things you need to, the question can ask, you know, like what are the gas needed, nitrogen, hydrogen, what are the ratio, the answer is 1.3, what are the temperature, 450 to 450, what are the atmosphere, 200, what are the catalyst is iron filling, Fe, this is the catalyst, okay, iron filling. What is the product of Haber process, ammonia, the question might ask, the process of changing nitrogen and hydrogen to ammonia, what is the process? So the process is called Haber process. Okay, and that's it. So I think I will teach until here first and I will continue you in the next video contact process next time. So thank you and bye-bye.